and it's like, ah, uh, it, um, I'm kidding, you know, uh, I'm yeah, kidding. I know, yeah, well, I'm but see, it's like, like you were saying when we just got, I don't know if this actually made it on a video or not, but so this is related to the next point I noticed, if those of you who haven't seen this, go watch the thing, skip about halfway through, this, what can only be defined as a suit, from seeing, and there's no other word for this guy, he says, I am a suit, from seeing it, and it's like, comes up, and basically says, we care, you know, I'm a suit, and we care about the consumer, and, and, and you, we, we care, it's like, I, <laughs> um, and honestly, looking at the application they were specially demoing has the same problem all these if there's a CNN app it, it's better than most, I'll give it that but my honest impression of the CNN app is it has the same problem all these traditional media, whether it's some TV station, some newspaper, some side and this is a problem on the iPad too and it looks like unfortunately based on the CNN thing it's going to be a problem on Android and that's that these people just don't know how to adapt to an interactive form factor. You know, they're very used to a one directional stream to we convey, you consume, and that's just how it works. Uh, now they have that I report thing that they added in there, but it, it's it something felt off about it. If this is my impression. I don't know if you agree that this is a problem for these devices. It's it's like we're all waiting for somebody to just get it and actually get it and, and convey getting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, and th th this is not a form, this is not a, th this is, nobody gets, they're like, what do you mean it can be a two-way conversation? It, trust me, it can. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, I take it you want to move down to that one? No, I, I was just, I, that's what I was laughing at. Oh, well, it's, we've gone through most of that. It, it, uh, okay, it's, He's looking, he's highlighting the lady killer one. <laughs> this just became sad. Like, they were trying, through this whole thing, they were trying to call somebody called lady killer, and everybody came up and goes, oh, well, if lady killer calls, can I talk to lady killer? And then the other guy came up and goes, by the way, I am lady killer. <laughs> and I, said, <laughs> I thought it was too. I don't know if that guy... I, I feel old now because I don't know if that really is that rapper's name or <laughs> then again I'm not really I've never really been into rap <laughs> that's uh it's I mean <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, my, my particular bands are more like Blue October or My Chemical Metallica <laughs> it's like rap's just not my genre <laughs> um but yeah it's like you, you begin to go oh well you just grab Lady Killer and pull him by the ear already or something. At the first two times, I'm like, okay, technical glitch. By the fifth time, they said Lady Killer. Like, this is planned. This is some kind of a staged PR glitch. To be honest, I don't think that they staged it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that they did. What, you think the guy was just too busy? You know, like his PR person put this together and he didn't really care about it or something? I... I I think so. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's worse. Google staging it or him giving so little shit about... But, I mean, to be honest, I mean, that, that, that whole thing didn't make any sense with the rest of the presentation. No, it okay, didn't. we're talking about technical stuff. Oh, you have to do this. Oh, this is some new application. Here's a wrapper. Yeah. Well, no, I, I guarantee you it was some PR thing. Whether or not all the what's it called yes. was staged or not. But I... Think I that the glitches were the PR thing. Didn't work for me. I well, was very excited. I, I know what it was. His PR person thought all us young hip kids who care about technology, you know, he had to appeal to us on that medium. Right. <laughs> it's like, uh, like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's like, it, it just kind of makes me laugh. Yeah, well, it, talking about not getting it. <laughs> yeah. That almost made the CNN suit thing look like they knew what they were doing, to be quite honest. <laughs> It made them look that much better. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 
One of the things that Google was getting real big on through this thing is they were talking about we're more flexible with our developers. We're, and they made it a point to say how flexible they are at least half a dozen times. We're flexible, we're giving options for monetization. I swear all of this was poking at Apple and the fact that they've you know recently suspended the Sony uh, ebook program and they're like clamping down and doing this I guarantee this was a poke of course it's entirely defeated by the fact that the guy who is coming up and talking about it brings a MacBook Pro up and it's like, well, I mean what else is he going to use <laughs> he could use a Linux box <laughs> Microsoft had said themselves that they consider, I mean, Google has said themselves that they consider Microsoft a bigger threat than Apple. Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I know. That's like, well, it's, it's a security thing. They basically don't want Windows on their campus. Yeah. So. Or, or else maybe they really would have seen that James is awesome on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might have been. That's like, ah, uh, it's like, uh, this is the thing I'm honestly wondering how genuine Google is and that type of stuff. You know, okay, how open is this really going to be? Are you going to care if your developers decide to completely circumvent any way you could make money by having their own payment API and everything? You know, you say it, but do you really mean it? Is the thing. Because, you know, it's... A lot of people say it. Put your money where your mouth is. You know, let me circumvent you. Let me let me go my own road. And it's like, do you think they really mean it or do you think it's just marketing? In regards of the, you know, uh, creating more options for monetization, being more open, because, you know, they were talking about their API. I, I think that uh, creating more options for monetization, a lot of that is uh, getting people who are afraid of making money on Android to come over and try Well, I mean, like, you can make plenty of money on Android. Of course, I, I would argue the... Re to, is oh. what I'm saying. When I, I personally, though, I would argue because of what Android is, the business model that would work best on Android isn't the one that works best on Apple. The one that works best on Apple is charge up front, take 70%, give Apple 30%. That's the one that works best on Apple. The one that works best on Android, 180 the other way. Give it away, charge for the stuff. Give it away, charge for the stuff. And that's a... Some people get that business model, others not so much. You know, it's and it's one of those things like which works in a lot of ways. I mean, one of the reasons I like Google's model is that you know you don't have to pay for something if you don't want it. Yeah, but that's not the that's not the old school business way of doing things. The old school business way of doing things is buy it, and if you don't like it, fuck you. Software, yeah. so, and that doesn't work. <laughs> And that's part of why I like it, but it's it's a bit of a jaded thing. And it, it, you're honestly hard pressed on Android to sell an application unless you have a free trial. Which is, which is, uh, which is uh, that is the that's the problem that a lot of companies see when going to Android is that it is hard to sell an application on Android because that's not how applications generally make money on Android. You know. Right. Now, and now, but granted, it is possible to sell applications on Android, but the way, if you want to sell an application on Android, you have to give like a 7 or 14 day free trial, up to a month, that is fully functional. Not, not well, you can use these five features, but these features you really care about, you have to buy it. It's like, it, it, it doesn't happen. It's like, they have to be able to try them using it. That's not enough time to really try it. <laughs> exactly. Now, it's, I mean, I can understand that for some, you know, McDonald's type games. But uh, yeah, you know, twenty-four hours can be too much, but fifteen minutes is not enough for anything. No, it's like the whole point of a trial is you try it, you use it, various conditions, what various. What they're saying is that fifteen minutes is plenty to see if it works on your device, and. Sure, 
sure, but a trial should be more than that. You know, you should just get to see, is this decent, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, I can go to the store, but, uh, and I sh technically, well, playing around with the device with the, with the commission sales guy looking over my soldier going, are you being helped, sir? Are you being helped, sir? Are you, oh, that should give me a sign to know if I like the feel of the device. Bullshit. <laughs> Different lighting, different sun, different turning it around for a few days. That's how you <laughs> find out if yeah, you really. And, and what a lot of people have said, you know, is that the developers should be the ones that are setting this time limit, or at least give them I didn't, a, some choices. I didn't know they weren't. No, the developers 100% should be who's in charge of that. They should be able to decide, based on my application, you need this long to figure out whether you can use it or not. That should 100% be the developer's call. And I would like it to be 15 minutes minimum and maximum, whatever they want. But, um, you know, it's it just, uh, you know, they can still do what you're saying, but they have to create two different applications for yeah. one's a trial and one's the upgrade. They shouldn't have to do that. Google can just as easily do that by providing an API for it that directly connects to the market, you know? And by doing that, it's going to make more people stick with you in the Android market instead of going with some other Amazon market or something. Yeah, okay, yeah, because you're right. The people who are doing the type of trials I'm talking about, that's exactly what they're doing. You'll see right. trial version applications. Like, there's two of the app. It's so much easier if, if, you know, you could only have one app and you automatically get the trial version. You know, after the trial, which would work however a trial version works, but it would just be directly part of Android. And since we're talking about that, that is the first freaking change they should make to the Android marketplace that they've now launched. You know, the web right. marketplace, the ability to do that. Because you're right, that is exactly how it should work, and it doesn't work that way. They've done a lot of things right here, but that is one thing they've done completely 180 wrong. <laughs> Uh, well, it's um, uh, on the marketplace. Uh, I'm glad it's live now, uh, yes. and, and it, it's like about damn effing time. <laughs> it's like it's only been a year. <laughs> How many comments have been made on this? You know <laughs> that Google's a web company, Google's a search company. Yet they they <laughs> so there there's been you know there's been enough time for a significant you know money. And, uh, and and apps that have been bought specifically because they have an online marketplace. Uh huh. Well, and, and and in some ways, I have to admit, the fact that this is finally live is, in some ways, like you're saying, there were other other marketplaces were solving the fact that Google was dragging their feet about doing this. But so what I'd like to say is that it does look very nice, and that yep. I do like it a lot. The, the 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 things I have to give Google points for here is that they gave the developer largely, why not completely, but largely the ability to customize their section of the store, to you know, yeah. be what they want it to. Now, it's not full customization. It's very much like I can make my YouTube channel look like how I want it. But for the purposes of this, that is enough. You know, uh, I, I honestly wouldn't want more. I, I, well, there's one more thing I would want, and I would want the ability for even though this has securing possible things, I would like the ability for that banner to be some kind of interactive thing because I can see some applications where that interactivity would be more useful than just a static banner. But that has obvious problems because how do you allow them to put JavaScripts and other things like that and then prevent them from putting bad JavaScripts and other things? It's like, how do you... Yeah, I, I don't want that. I'd rather them just show a YouTube video that shows the interactivity. Okay. Well, but they can't put a video in there. They can... Yes, they can. It showed it. No, uh, they showed a banner. No, it showed in the video. It showed no, yeah, they can put videos. Video what I'm referring to is like that logo thing. That's oh, the well, banner. They, I, yeah, you're right. They can't put. They can't make the banner itself a video, but they right. can put a video on their page. And, and I would think for a lot of applications, the banner itself being a video, just right there on that main, would be very useful. But like I'm I saying, still, I don't like moving pictures. Are annoying, and 
I don't want to see moving pictures going across the screen because it's hard to not look at, and I much rather prefer a static picture. Click on it, and at that point, I can see the videos. James prefers HTML 3.0. He doesn't like the new internet. It sucks. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I prefer static to look at. Once I go into the page and know what I'm wanting, I can see all that. Okay. Oh, I, I, you, you're talking. It's, well, see, I, I, here, here's the rub. Here, you're a consumer, and you, you you want what you want. I'm thinking of it from a web designer's point of view. Of I have 30 seconds to get your attention, and I have no guarantee you're going to click on anything. So I must have your attention already from the moment the page loads. <laughs> so, but I, 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 your point of view is valid too. This is the real rub all I the time. Find them annoying. <laughs> I would find them annoying. Uh, well, no, that's the thing. It, it, we almost have to get annoying to get your attention, and that's the rub. It's like we can't not be annoying, but we have to be annoying. But it's like, uh, but your your point is valid too. It's it's that fine balancing line. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I could see your point as well, but. Um well, and I'm thinking about it from the developer's point of view. From the consumer's point of view, you're dead right. But from the developer's point of view, I want you doing more impulse buying. I want you doing more impulse loading. You, you, no, no, don't even think about it. Load this app. It's cool. It's like, don't think. Don't think. Do. Because <laughs> that is what you want in, in this type of marketplace. You don't want people thinking. You want them doing. <laughs> Ah, uh, I think that's everything. Unless there's anything else you like found interesting. I, these are the notes I made. Like, is there anything? You know, you know, if you know what, you know the guy who, who came on stage and said he was Lady Killer. Yeah, which guy was that? That was. Okay, so that was uh, that was. Uh, that was uh, what I'm saying is, if they just stopped at that and they didn't bring up the rapper, I actually would have liked that. I would have think that was pretty fun. But my guess is Lady Killer's who the rapper is, though. Lady Killer is the rapper, but I would much prefer it instead to be just that guy who said, oh, I'm Lady Killer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I can be the joke, although I'm not bad with the girls. Oh, we're, we're sure you're not. <laughs> it's like, it's, it was almost becoming a bad montage or something. Uh, you know what? Actually, I would like to see that because I don't have the time to do it, but I would love to see somebody, it, it, and there's a lot of parts of the Google announcement I would like to overlay over this video, but because it's Google and we're uploading this on YouTube, that's not really a battle I want to fight. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, somebody should do that. They should, like, cut together a montage of Lady Killer, Lady Killer, Lady Killer, Lady Killer, and just see how bad it gets, <laughs> and, like, come up with some trippy music. Actually, they should use the frickin' music that was from that acid trip at the beginning. You, you this is not... Or they could use the music from the rapper. Uh, uh, but then they'll get double sued. <laughs> it's like Google and the DRM people will be after them. They'll just be fucked. <laughs> that won't be a warning. That'll be your YouTube account is gone for life. I'm sorry. You're not allowed here anymore. Uh, but no, it's you missed it. And people who didn't watch this live, before they turned the video on, there was this like trippy psychedelic like wavy lines of stuff with letters going by. Honestly, it f it looked like a freaking acid trip. 